In this video, we're doing a pattern review on a maternity dress. So as you can see, I'm pregnant. We are super excited and we've made three versions of the Birda Style 7320 maternity dress. So let's start with this one, Marie. What did we make this out of? Well, this was the first of the pattern that we tried. So I chose a cotton patchwork fabric an Australian design by Jocelyn Proust, our beautiful print and uh, made a beautiful dress. So when I was putting the dress together and basting the pleats, I found that I needed to make an alteration because the pleats had two knife pleats uh, pointing towards centre front. So I then reversed the outer pleats to um, go to the side seam of the actual dress which gave you a box pleat on either side, which was so much more flattering, which has also allowed for the growth of the tummy um, at the neatest look that it can be. So um, with only a few little minor alterations on the bodice, um, I'm thrilled with, with this dress. Love the pattern, love the look, and this is the first result. This is the second version we made from this maternity bird of pattern. And this is actually view A, so it is the same dress again. And this time I chose a cotton sateen. Um, both uh, the first and second fabrics were purchased from Spotlight here in Geelong. And I love this print because it has the beautiful rose border on the fabric and then tapering and uh, with the rosebuds uh, with then the black and white spot which I used for the bodice so that I had a lovely flow through with the fabric. So it's just gorgeous fabric and so with the alterations having been made on the first of the dress, um, the pleats you could probably see a little bit more in the fabric here um, by creating a box pleat. The pleat at the side here sits really flat but allows quite a lot of room. So we've been wearing this dress for three months now, with three months to go, and um, there's lots of tummy room. The dress is also very flattering from the back, so it's nice and slim and tapered with darts, and the front, the pleating allows for the expansion of the tummy. So very flattering, beautifully fitted um, bodice, so a beautiful maternity dress. And here's the third version of the maternity dress that we have made. And on this occasion, the fabrics that I've used, um, the white is a heavily embroidered pure cotton. The lining is a chambray in the pale blue that we purchased on our recent bus trip to Rathdown Remnants in Melbourne. So I love this combination as soon as I saw the fabric. And just to give you some more information, the bodice is fully lined. The side panels I cut in the blue and then use the same fabric to enhance the lace um, to just use that the blue chambray as an underlining and so that gives you just that little touch of blue through the bodice and then the entire skirt is underlined with the same blue which I basted to all of the pieces of lace prior to construction. So that way you can see the lovely blue coming through and just to finish off just a little detail um, I made the sash here tied with a bow under the bust line which is just over the plating just to bring a little bit more blue and to have that little special detail. So this has been a fabulous dress for me to wear. I started when I was three months along and I've worn all three dresses on many different occasions and I've re received so many compliments. I'm at six months now. It still remains extremely comfortable and there's plenty of room for growth in these next last three months to go. So this is Marie and I'm Jacqueline from Marie Pigton Sewing Centre. We hope you enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe to our channel and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.